against the odds, and just in time for Australia Day, Matthew Flinders has been found. The body of the famous British explorer who helped name and was the first to circumnavigate Australia was thought lost when the cemetery he was buried in 205 years ago became a public park behind London's Euston railway station. But a huge archaeological dig, part of preparations for a $100 billion rail project, has defied predictions and identified Flinders remains among thousands to be removed from the site. The discovery has been described as Australia's version of the recent rediscovery of Richard III, and experts hope Flinders' skeleton will yield new insights into his life and work. After a long forensic examination, the remains will be reinterred, with the blessing of the Church of England, in a new site in or near London. And Australia's High Commissioner in London, George Brandis, has called for a fitting memorial to be raised over his final resting place. Helen Wass, the head of the archaeological team at the HS2 rail project, said it was a really exciting discovery, not least because they had thought it so unlikely that Flinders would be identified. It was really a needle in a haystack kind of thing, she said. I have been telling everybody the chances of finding him were remote. But we found him. The organizers believe this the biggest post-medieval graveyard excavation in British history. Under a white tent the size of a football field, Wass team were patiently scraping away at the soil to uncover the old graveyard which took an estimated 60,000 bodies. One was that of Flinders, just 40 years old. He had finally returned home after years in a French prison on Mauritius, and in failing health prepared his extraordinary a voyage to Teru Australis. The story of his adventures, meticulous mapping and discoveries around the continent. It was published the day before he died in 1814. The church told the archaeologists that any and all human remains must be treated with the utmost care and dignity.